Hi, and welcome back. Moving on to this chapter, we'll explore how test automation metrics help the manager and engineer teams track project status towards the goal as well as monitoring the impacts of changes made to the test automation solution. The most common test automation metrics can be divided into two groups, specifically external and internal side. External metrics comprise of automation benefit, effort to build automation tests, and effort to maintain to automated tests. While the purpose of external metric is to measure the impact of test automation solutions on other activities, the internal metric, including tool scripting metric, speed, and efficiency are those used to measure the effectiveness and efficiency of the test automation frameworks in fulfilling its objective. On top of that, there are trend metrics to get an overview of the historical performances of these metrics. Now, we'll have a look at the first external metric called the automation benefit. In fact, any measure of benefit will depend on the objective of the test automation solution. Typically, this may save time, human resources, increase the efficiency of test execution or test coverage, and create some other advantages such as increased repeatability or fewer manuals error. It is particularly important to measure and report the benefit of a test automation solution. Possible aspect to measure the team's benefit includes the number of manual test hours saved, reduction in time to perform regression testing, the cost in terms of money, time, and number of people involved over a given time period are easily observable. People who are not working in a testing field will also pay close attention to the overall cost and achieve benefit to form an impression upon the test automation productivity. Now, we'll come closer to the second external metric, the effort to automate tests which is one of the key costs associated with test automation. The implement cost has a positive correlation with the size of test cases. Of course, the more test step conducted, the more expensive the cost will be. While the cost to implement a specific automated test will depend largely on the test itself, other factors such as scripting approaches used, familiarity with the testing tools, the environment, and the skill level of the test automation engineer will also have an impact. Because large and complicated tests typically take longer to automate, computing the build cost for test automation may be based on an average build time. This may be further refined by comparing the average cost between a manual and automated function for a specific set of tests, such as those targeting the same function or those at a given test level. It takes manual tests twice the effort of automating a test case, for example. Every software needs maintenance once there is a new release. In this case, the last external metric, or the effort to maintain automated test metric, is vital to keep automated tests in sync with the application under test and highlight when steps need to be taken to reduce maintenance effort. Measure of maintenance effort can be expressed as the total number of automated tests or on average, how long automated tests can update a new version. Efforts required to maintain the test cases due to changes in software system should correspond with changes in the application under test. For the first internal metric, tool scripting, the different number of scripting standards for different companies will determine the extent to which these standards are being followed. There are many metrics that can be used to monitor automated test script development, most of which are similar to source code metrics for the application under test. As examples, lines of codes or cyclomatic complexity can be used to highlight overly large or complex scripts. Let's move on to the next internal metric. Differences in how long it takes to perform the same test step in the same environment can indicate problems in the application under test. According to the second internal metric, speed and efficiency of test automation component. With that being said, investigation will be in need if the application under test is not performing the same functionality in the same elapsed time. On top of the five metric that we have already talked about, the trend metric is just another factor that observes the measure change in over time instead of just at a given period. The cost of measuring yet should be as low as possible and can often be achieved by automated test collection and report. In conclusion, this chapter gives you an overview of how test automation metrics measure the performance of automated testing processes. As with any metrics, test automation metric user should have set their goals in building better quality software with less effort, plus delivering capability faster and more affordable.